Hi everybody, so welcome to this tutorial. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying to replicate um, this bit of footage that you've seen before. So some people have actually asked me about this and I thought it'd be a kind of a useful um, tutorial session. So this is um, the opening footage of our open day film that I made last summer. And of course, as you know, it's me stood on the little uh, planet um, outside the uh, main reception. And then of course we get this lovely light sort of long distance whirl shot um with me tracked into it so um what we're going to be doing today we're, first of all we're going to be looking at this world shot um in using the insta studio platform um now if you've used the insta studio platform this might look fairly straightforward but actually it, it takes a little bit more practice to get this particular shot that we want um because there are some you know issues with it because it, it sort of gets a bit too close if you get it wrong to the it gets a bit too close to the buildings and stuff we don't get this kind of dramatic shot that we want and then after that what we're going to do is we're going to look at tracking me or you or you can film yourself if you're actually on campus in front of the green screen you can do it yourself tracking yourself into the footage so that you can go from being uh, quite large you know um, compared to everything around you um, and then gradually receding into the space now of course you could just film yourself stood there and actually do a presentation thing of yourself there but by tracking yourself in you are making a job for yourself obviously but you are also giving yourself a lot more option so yeah so that's what we're going to be looking at today and what we're going to be beginning with is just preparing this equirectangular footage so that we can put it into the Insta Studio, because it's not enough for us to actually just drop it in and go. There's a bit of housekeeping you have to do. First of all, we're going to patch out this Nadir, which I didn't have a chance to do last summer. We're going to patch this out, and we're also going to add a tracking dot uh, that we can track our character to when we're matting this person in a bit later on. OK, so let's jump in. So here's After Effects. OK, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our footage. So this is the ungraded um, echo rectangular of the university. Um, and we're going to drag that into After Effects like so. Now, I was going to, uh, my plan for this session was to use the footage I shot last summer. Uh, but I somewhere between last summer and now, I've kind of ended up deleting it. Um, so I've had to shoot some more on a murky day in March. So it's a very different kind of feel to the uh, the one over the summer. The, 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 the biggest disappointment really is the fact that there's no strong shadows that we can uh, use to kind of really bed the character in. But no worries, we'll, uh, we'll work with what we've got. So here's our clip, then we're going to drag that down um, onto this composition tab. Now remember the thing with the composition tab um, is you want to drag your footage onto that because otherwise um, you might end up opening it up in the wrong format and as it's an echo rectangular you want After Effects to know what kind of footage it's working with. So here's our footage it's about a minute 20 long okay um, so I clear off in a minute after about 15 seconds I've disappeared okay so I'm going to just start at this point okay and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little red tracking dot um, onto our uh, our front here um, so that I've got something to track my char character to. Now the first thing you need to remember of course when you've zoomed in with After Effects you can use your mouse wheel to do that is you have to hold down the space bar to move your footage around because if you don't do that then you can move your footage outside the frame and that's no good. Okay so I'm going to zoom in like so and then I'm going to hold down the space and move it around and I'm going to put a tracking dot somewhere on the front here that I'm going to then um, track my character to by eye. Okay the way I'm going to do this then is I'm going to open up my brush tool up here and I'm going to just come over to paint first of all this thing yeah okay I want to make a nice bright red dot so I can see it easily uh, and in my brushes I'm going to just open up my brushes and I'm going to have a three diameter brush uh, plenty of hardness and everything else okay so that all looks good to me now um, you might remember the Nadir patch tutorial from previously. Um, you can't just make a change. You actually have to double click first and then you know, you're now in an editing mode that will allow you to make a change. So I'm going to drag this across, making sure I've got my brush tool. And I think I'm going to put my character's foot about there. OK, so there's our red dot. That's all it needs to be. You don't want it to be too big. And I'm going to use my character's foot to obscure that later on. So it's not the end of the world anyway. I just want to have something I can track my character to. OK, so that's that for now. So then the next thing I'm going to do, now that I've got my red dot uh, in here, I'm going to come back to my, um, my footage. There's my red dot again. OK, so that's all fine. Now I'm just going to quickly um, patch out this Nadir. So there's a more um, in-depth tutorial on what I'm doing here. Uh, which is another video on the YouTube channel. So if, you, if you're if you um, struggling to remember what I'm doing here or I'm going too quickly, just go and find that video and that will help you through it. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and bring up my VR comp editor from here. If you don't know where that is, it's in window and it's right at the bottom VR comp editor. OK, and you can just dock it wherever you like. 
and on my footage then I'm going to add a 2D edit. All right, so I'm going to click add 2D edit and if you remember what's happened is now I've got my echo rectangular but it's get now giving me like a small section of that echo rectangular to look at and I can move between the the edit mode which is this one and then the output render mode where I can still see all of my echo rectangular. So in my edit mode what I'm going to do is if you hold down the C key you get the camera tool and now you can point that towards the ground so we can see our tripod the thing we want to patch out okay I'm going to move my play head along to about 15 seconds because I know that's when we're roughly starting I'm going to zoom in yeah uh, sorry I'm going to um, first of all going to go to my clone stamp tool and uh, before I zoom in okay so the clone stamp tool is what I'm going to use to patch patch this out and I'm going to double click on this like I did with the red dot and now I'm going to zoom in okay um, and if you remember what I'm going to do hold down space to move so it's nice and centered in the frame and if you remember what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the option key on a Mac so I get my target and then I'm going to click about here and then I'm going to take that uh, footage there and I'm just going to match uh, map out my tripod like so okay and I personally like to take bits from all sorts of places so it doesn't look too uniform so I'm going to enjoy this is a good stick. I'm going to take that stick. Oh no, that hasn't quite worked. So I might want to uh, go back and do that again and actually try and make that stick match. There we go, that works better. And then I'm going to take this bit and I'm going to match that, map that out like so. And a bit over here just to sort of really bring it to life. That, get rid of that bit. There we go. And that's looking pretty good. Okay. So if you now go to output render, you can see that you've got uh, you, your um, tripod is missing. And if we zoomed in on that, we can still see our little red dot there. So that's all good. OK, remember not to move around uh, when you're in the edit mode, because otherwise it will undo all the stuff you've just done with your clone stamp. OK, so that's all good now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this out in a format that I can then use for the um, Insta Studio platform. So I'm going to go to the uh, composition and add to render queue and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where it says lossless here and I'm going to go to format options. Now you can now put it at the animation codec but I did that earlier with this uh, footage and it's only a minute and 20 long and it came out at almost 40 gigabytes. So as you imagine that's a rather large file and it's not the end of the world because we're going to be um, transcoding it in media encoder in a minute anyway okay um, but yeah you don't want to be working with a 40 gig file that's just crazy so what we're going to do is go into animation and I'm going to go to Apple ProRes 42 high quality uh, and click OK so this is still quite a large file it's going to output at about 7 gig all right but that's obviously that's better than 40 um, so we're going to go with that and click OK and then we're going to just um, get VR output to that sounds good so I'm going to yeah that will be fine and then I'm literally just going to click render okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording now and I'll join you again once mine's rendered out and then we can see what we're going to do to transcode it into another format that we can then put it into for the um, Insta Studio so join me in the next section of the video okay